And welcome back to Idaho Today. The holidays mean gathering around the table, talking with family and friends, and having some good conversation. And here's a fun topic to discuss over a good drink. What is the difference between a beer and an IPA? Well, we're joined now by Chris. He's from Terra 10 Barrel Brewing Company. He's going to answer this question for us. Let's just dive right in off the top. Crack it open. Tell us what's the difference between a beer and an IPA. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, that's kind of the same question as, like, what's the difference between a pie and an apple pie? Okay. An apple pie is just a type of pie. An IPA exactly. is just a type of beer. Exactly. So there's a lot of different styles. Uh, IPAs, though, are generally what a lot of people who are into craft beer really get into. Yes. It gets really popular if you're not just into, like, the Bud Lights, Coors Lights, Coronas. Yes. IPA is the category people tend to really get into. Okay, and IPA is one that is standard, uh, standard is pretty, like, hoppy, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so it's really a floral kind of beer. If you yeah, know. yeah, okay. so I brought a bunch of different IPAs here today Great. just so I can kind of show you what the difference is. So All right. the first one that I poured there, that is an old-school Northwest style IPA. Okay, what makes it old school? So that is like when craft brewing was becoming big. Okay. This is the style that everybody that everybody gravitated to. Okay. So what it is is the old school uh, old school West Coast IPA mm -hmm. is going to be Here, I see bright that. and clear. Okay. It's going to be bright and clear. Okay. It's going to have really it's going to be bitter, mm -hmm. but it's not going to be unpleasant. It's gonna smell like pine. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be some kind of like citrus notes to it. Very northwesty. Yeah, right? very northwesty. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, and then you can see it's pretty amber. Yeah. Compared to the one that you just poured. So tell us about this one down here. This is what it says a double in yeah. pale. Yeah. So correct? the next okay. one's gonna be a double IPA. So okay. the only difference between these oh. is gonna be that this one's going to be maybe not quite double, but it's yeah. gonna be more alcohol. Uh -huh. It's going to be. Uh, this one is also going to be fairly bitter, but not overly bitter. It's going to have some more grapefruit flavor. Uh -huh. It's going to be also piney as well. Okay, got a smell. Yes. This one actually seems a little more subtle. This one feels like it's got a little more punch, like when you smell it. I don't know why. Yeah, and that's, okay. it's, it, since it has more alcohol, it's got a little ah, bit more of everything to balance it, it all out. It the nostrils. <laughs> okay, there you go. All right. And then this, too. So the original uh, that you're calling the old school is also a little foggy or kind of almost, it's not like a Hefeweizen, but, like, it's foggy, right? And this is a little clearer. Yeah, it okay. might be a little bit uh, a little bit less clarity to okay. it. But, clarity. Yeah. That's the word I'm looking for. All right. Yeah, the first one was the Apocalypse IPA. The second one's called Always Down. That's a double IPA. Okay, got it. All right. And then You've got a couple more to pour here too. Yeah. So, so the next one is called Nature Calls. <laughs> I like this. That. <laughs> yeah. This one is a we call it a mountain IPA. Okay. So this one is kind of a new newer style. All right. Basically, we were wanting an IPA that you could drink while you're out hiking on the mountain, sk skiing, snowboarding. Okay. Something that's going to be light and flavorful, but it's not going to like weigh you down kind of thing. All right, and you can even tell too by the shades of amber, if you will, as we're going down here, kind of like in the lightness, like you mentioned. Yeah, this right? one's got a lot lighter color mm -hmm. to it. And this one's gonna be a little bit fruitier than the other two. Okay. It's not going to be, it's not gonna be quite as, uh, not quite as piney and resiny as the others. Oh, well, then I have to smell on that note. Okay, let me see. I agree, I concur, <laughs> not as piney. Okay, and then, Let's crack open these two big yeah. ones. So this one right here is called Cloud Mentality. So this is where we're getting into the newer stuff. This is a ha this is a hazy IPA. Uh huh. And, oh. oh, a hazy IPA. Spilling it as I pour it. Hey, you know what? Just like <laughs> as if we were in ten barrels. No worries. Okay. <laughs> All Hazy right. IPAs are all the rage right now. Mm -hmm. The reason that people like them is they are a lot less bitter than traditional IPAs. Got it. Along with that, you're getting a lot of flavors you wouldn't normally get in the other IPAs, where you're getting kind of citrus and, and pine. These ones are gonna be more like tropical fruits. You're gonna get pineapple, you're going to get mm -hmm. guava, you're gonna get a lot of fun tropical uh, smells yeah. and flavors in there that you wouldn't necessarily get with the older IPAs. It is definitely fruity. I, I don't wanna call it a pina colada. No, not quite. But yeah, but, yeah. I mean, but you do smell that. And then it, we're talking about all these different flavor profiles in an ale, in a beer, in an IPA. How do you do that throughout the process of when you're making it? So the when it comes to the 
uh, the pine, mm -hmm. the fruitiness, those type of things, those are gonna come from different varieties of hops. Oh, okay, so it comes down to the hops I use. Yep. Let's go ahead and crack this one open, pour that. As you're doing that, you know, it's Thanksgiving week, so mm -hmm. I imagine people are gonna be having a nice drink together. Would you pair this well with turkey and other sides? Oh, yeah, you can pair beer with anything, really. <laughs> I mean, there's, in. If you don't want an IPA, there's other styles that are all gonna okay. pair differently with different types of things. But mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, uh, a nice uh, a nice hazy IPA with a turkey sounds great to me. All right, there you go. Maybe a little stuffing too with one of these other ones. <laughs> yeah. There's some pumpkin pie, slice of pumpkin pie. Thank you so much, Chris. This has been absolutely fantastic. If people uh, wanna know where to grab some of this for the holiday season, just go to Ten Barrel Barinko. Yeah, you can get them in all your local stores and actually the, uh, the uh, Cloud Mentality IPA was a seasonal, but it was so popular by, by popular demand, we're bringing it back full time. It's gonna be on, it's gonna be in cans at all your local stores year round. Awesome, that's so exciting. Chris, thank you so much, thank really you. appreciate it. And now you all got something to talk about when you're sitting down for your Thanksgiving meal uh, this, uh, this Thursday. Everyone stick around, we got a lot more to come right here on Idaho Today right after the break.